welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Valentine's Day look, a Valentine's Day tutorial on this look right here that I'm wearing today. And it's pretty much just a um, red lip and it's a natural eye with um, pretty much some natural makeup for my face. And this right here is just going to be just a simple Valentine's Day look. So if you all want to keep watching so you can see how I got this look, stay tuned. First, I'm going to start off by wiping my face off with a makeup removal wipe, just making sure I remove all that oil. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply the Milk of Magnesium to my face. This right here helps my face stay matte throughout the day and it helps my makeup stay in place. It also helps me control my oil. Okay, I'm going to let that dry. And now I'm going to take my foundation and today I'm using the Revlon Color Stay and my color is 300. I think that's a caramel. And I'm just going to go ahead and use my buffer brush from Sedona Lace and just go ahead on and apply that all over my face. Next, I'm going to go ahead and use my NYX pencil, and I'm going to go ahead and fill in my eyebrows, starting with the beginning of them and just lightly kind of just brushing them in with the natural shape of, shape of my brow. Next, I'm using my NYX concealer to go ahead and just clean up my eyebrows after I've used that pencil to go ahead and give me more of a defined look. Okay, so now I'm using my, using my LA Girl Pro Conceal, and I'm going ahead and um, putting that on my eyelid to go ahead and just even out the skin tone before I get ready to apply my eyeshadow. And now I'm using my NYX Nude Matte Eyeshadow and Blame It on Midnight, and I'm going to go ahead and use that. I'm going to go ahead and place it on the lid and I'm going for more of a natural look so it won't be too heavy but I'm just going to get, go ahead and just pack on the color just slightly. Next I'm using Dance the Tides and I'm going to go ahead and take a fluffy blending brush and go ahead and apply that in my crease and this will act more so of a transitional color. Um, something that's more a little bit darker than my skin tone but something brown and warm to go ahead and just warm up my face and just apply something to go ahead and transition into that lid color. Next I'm using Saddle and this is also going to be used as a transitional color but more so as a blending color to go ahead and blend out that blame it on midnight any harsh lines that may be visible. And next I'm using Get Naked from NYX. And the Get Naked, um, I'm going to apply that also on top of the first eyeshadow that I put on my lid. And this is just going to help the color just stand out a little bit more. I don't think I got enough color payoff with that first eyeshadow. Next, I'm using my NYC Liquid Eyeliner in Black. This is my favorite liquid eyeliner. It goes on jet black and it lasts all day. And it's definitely perfect for just um, application because the brush on it is so soft and it just glides on effort effortlessly and next I'm applying a red lipstick to my lips um, I believe this is from wet and wild and this is uh, actually I'll go ahead and put the uh, number in the description bar but I believe this actually this is pretty persimmon but uh, I also wanted to try a different lip for you all just for those that may have not liked that one. That was more of a orangey kind of red. And this time I used the Stoplight Red from Wet n Wild. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that. And I think this color was a little bit more so what I was going for as far as a Valentine's Day look. And that's all, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed watching. 
And I uh, just thank you all for just being so supportive in my journey. You all are very encouraging. And just keep on, um, you know, giving me suggestions, giving me good feedback. And I don't think I put it on camera, but I did spray my face using the Max Fix Plus. And that goes ahead and gives you that dewy look so that you can be able to, uh, you know, have your natural skin shine through. And I just like to thank you all for watching. And here's some photos that I took at the end of the look. Freeze in the fire. Bye,